Jonah. Didn't Jesus tell us at the end we would have the sign of Jonah? Not only for him being in the grave for three days and coming out the belly of the beast, but also in the last days there would be the sign of Jonah. What is the sign of Jonah? Somebody somewhere is just like Jonah. Let's read Jonah chapter 4. There's only four chapters, and let's read this one in the UDB because it's easy English. Thank you very much. But Jonah felt that it was very bad that God had not destroyed Nineveh. He became very angry. He prayed to Yahweh, Oh, Yahweh, what have what you have done is just what I thought that you would do even before I left home. The reason I ran away to go to Tarshish was to stop this very thing from happening because I knew that you act very kindly and compassionately toward all people. You do not quickly become angry with people who do evil. You love people very much. And you change your mind about punishing people who sin. Yes. So now, oh, Yahweh, since you will not destroy Nineveh as you said you would, please allow me to die. Because now it would be better for me to die than to continue to live. Yahweh replied, it is right for you to be angry. Is it right? Ah, wait we got to catch this. This is where it gets interesting. It says that Yahweh replied with a question. Is it right for you to be angry that I did not destroy the city? Jonah did not reply. And I can tell you why. He was mad. <laughs> he wanted that city crushed. He's tired of the garbage. But he went out of the city to the east side of it. He made a small shelter in order that he could sit under it and be protected from the sun. He sat under the shelter and waited to see what would happen to the city. Oh boy, he was praying it would get Godzilla running through it, destroying it like Tokyo. Oh, but <clears throat> then Yahweh God caused a vine to grow up immediately to shade Jonah's head from the sun and to save him from his discomfort. Jonah was very happy about having the vine over his head. The vine, Jesus is the vine. I like the Jesus vine over my head. But before dawn the next day, God sent a worm that chewed the vine, with the result that the vine withered. <laughs> then, when the sun rose high in the sky, God sent a very hot wind from the east, and the sun shone very strongly on Jonah's head, with the result that he felt faint. Oh. He wanted to die. He said, it would be better for me to die than to continue to live. I kind of had a moment like that myself. But God asked Jonah, here we go again, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Is it right for you to be angry about what happened to the vine? Jonah replied, oh, because he was already in a mood, man. Jonah replied, yes, it's right. No, I'm angry enough to die. <laughs> I had a moment like that too. Shh. But Yahweh said to him, you were concerned about that vine when I caused it to wither. Even though you did not take care of it, and you did not make it grow, it just grew up during one night, and it completely weathered at the end of the next night. But there are more than 120,000 people in Nineveh, that huge city, who cannot tell right from wrong. And there are also so many cattle. So is it not right for me to be concerned about those people and not want to destroy them. So here's your sign of Jonah. Here's your sign of Jonah. Anybody, any of us who feel this desperate, it would be better for me to die than to continue to live like a Mexican soap opera drama. But we should be doing jumping jacks and cartwheels that King Jesus knows all these people in all these big cities, all these people in all these small towns, he's concerned about them. Doesn't want to destroy any of us, so let's get it together. Let's, let's be as in touch with God as Jonah is. But let's be as compassionate as Yahweh is. 
King Jesus is so compassionate, I don't even have words to describe. As much as I get angry and mad and I am just about as overwrought and distraught as Jonah, I really am. But who are we? We should have a uh, beg for mercy moment, Mr. President, Mr. Vice President. Any madam future president. <laughs> uh, all you got to do is get in your heart like Jonah. And God will answer us. Asking us to remember his mercies. Bye-bye. I hopefully we'll get out of the hospital today. I'm going to have a lifetime ahead of me of prescriptions. Yo. Yeah.